All right, Fred, what are we doing tonight? We're going fishing on the Mo. It's uh, overcast, it is not hot. It is already late August. There are fish rising, there are bugs in the water. Ideal streamer conditions, ideal dry fly conditions. We're gonna go have some fun. We're gonna go sort it out. Okay guys, it's looking super buggy tonight. Uh, there's fish rising all over the place. We just keep hearing them. It's hard to even get rigged. I can't tie a knot. We just start at Mountain Palace. You guys can probably recognize that rock right there. Pretty iconic. And uh, yeah, heading on down to uh, Pelican Point. There's already some fish rising right down below that rock. They're eating mergers. You can just see their fins coming out under, uh, on top of the, underneath the water. Ooh, there's one on top. Oh yeah, that was a hog. <laughs> <laughs> Chrome Junior. And out there on this seam right over here, there's some coming all the way out of the water. I don't know if you've, you've seen those two Fred on the other side of the sandbar. Oh, there just went again. Holy crap. They're actually not feeding. They're just working on their aerial. Uh, what bugs are going to start with? Well, right now it looks like there's just some little micro mayflies. So literally like an 18 or 20 BWO is probably good. Yeah, it's kind of a mystery. Is it a pseudo? It's a very mystery mayfly. Is it a, like it's not a, a pseudo and it's not like a PMD. Like a PMD or it's not really a betas. Yeah, they're micro mayflies. That makes this sound pretty smart. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to really catch anything like that. <laughs> it's the new fly project fluorocarbon tippet. You catch a giant with this. There he is. Oh. <laughs> Dang it. I didn't realize all I could see was the glare. Yeah, I know. That's what I said. That's an exuberant fish. <laughs> Oof. Fun, yeah, well, it's, I can't see my fly, so yeah. it's kind of like. Oh, that was such a light sip. Yep. Oh. oh, that was a good one, too, wasn't it? Yes. Oh, little dude. I wonder if they'd almost commit to the purple buzz ball better. I've had like three or four where they came up and they ate it, but not quite. Gonna go in right in front of this one, maybe. Oh, money drift. Oh, dang it! I'm seeing him too early. That's yeah. the problem, honestly. Because I felt that one, so I know he's not coming back. Oh, one just flashed underneath us. There he is. Do you see how long yeah. I waited? That was like an eternity. That's, that's how you do it. I know, but <laughs> damn, I felt like I was counting to a hundred. <laughs> ate the ate the purple buzz ball. Yeah. That was cool. It's a buzzer. Woo! That was sweet, man. Oh. Maximum pressure. Get out of that weed. I'm trying to pull him out of there, but there's not much I can do. Oh, he's on the other side. Oh, I can see him. Oh, he's out. He's out. He's out. Oh, yeah. Is that brown? Yeah. It's a good one. And, okay. He's past the weed line. 
just don't break off. I got like max pressure on this dude. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that's a good one. Finesse game. No, you're not going back. It's either breaking or you're coming. <laughs> He's ready. He's ready to meet that. Whew. He almost escaped. Yeah. That's yeah. a big one. That's a big fish, dude. Good brown trout. Purple haze buzz ball. <gasps> the buzzy. Get it back in the water. <sighs> Be okay. Alright. Nice, dude. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> All right, got our first fish. We missed like, we missed, well, I missed, not uh, we, sorry. I was rowing, sorry, Fred. I was just rowing the boat. Yeah. <laughs> we, uh, we had about. We had fish that wanted to eat the fly. <laughs> yeah, we had about five fish that almost ate the fly. We did have a couple deny the fly too. We switched to a purple haze buzz ball and like second fish that ate it. That was, a, I don't know how, was that, that was pretty thick brown trout. Yeah, and he, I mean, you waited, you had to, you had to let him. Yeah, Let him chew on it. You can the the fish are in such skinny water that you literally have to wait a painfully long time to set the hook because you see the fish coming for a long time. So, you ready to fish? I want you to catch one more. Okay. I am not gonna argue with you. <laughs> for the size of that buzz ball, it's pretty easy to see, honestly. I can't see it sitting down as well as I can see the ant. But... Well, definitely not. It doesn't have any white on it, but. but... As far as a fly like that, oh, yeah. comparable patterns, it's well, good. It oh, there's a big one up underneath this bush. Yeah, like, another one. They're, they're fish all along. Oh, God. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Uh, <laughs> remain calm. Save the queen. Oh, dang it. Dink city. <laughs> ate the buzz ball again, though. All right, what are we switching to, Fred? Uh, airhead. Airhead with the per leaving the purple haze buzz ball on behind. Purple haze buzz ball got some really good attention when we first started fishing it. So we're going to keep it going. All right, guys, so... If you guys aren't familiar, these are the airheads right here. And then these are the high vis spents. We fish these a ton. These ones with a little orange on the top. And then we got uh, the party on top caddis as well, which has pretty much been our go-to for the last couple of years. And then purple haze buzz balls uh, is one of our new bugs. And we have been absolutely... Uh, We've gotten a lot of attention from well, the fish. <laughs> yeah, we haven't been hooking that many, but fish have definitely been eating these things tonight. And this is the Yakota fly tins. They sent us a bunch of these. And uh, follow them on Instagram because they are going to be having a giveaway on our flies here coming up soon. All right. So that is the airhead caddis right there high-tech material the guys have been catching some fish on that thing very special very special very special packing <laughs> on that and then show them the buzz ball real quick purple buzzy that is the purple buzz ball so that's the combo Fred needs to get on the board and all of a sudden Oh, they're like so rising like crazy right now. After I pulled the weed out. Right? There, guys, if you can't see them, just like 20 feet in front of Fred, there is fish everywhere. Oh. Oh, he ate. Oh, I think you pulled up right as he was on you. All right, I'm sure you can't see this because it's super uh, dark. It's like 9 p.m. 
We just got to our takeout at Pelican Point and our truck is not here. So, um, we took a free shuttle option at the fly shop earlier. <laughs> just gave your keys to some random guy. And, <laughs> and the whole night we've been saying uh, how awesome of a hookup that was. <laughs> and it may not have been a good, as good of a deal as we originally thought. So we called Bushley, uh, Mike Bushley at Trout, Montana, because he knows the guy, to find if it's possible that Sasquatch did this. <laughs> um, it's, it's always obvious. possible when strange things happen that there's a Sasquatch Mike? involved. Hey, what's up? Oh, sweet. Oh, is it at Pruitt? Oh, okay. Well, that's no problem. I appreciate you helping us out. All right, sweet. Cool. Yeah, no, we're we're relaxed. Uh yeah, no, we had a, we had a pretty good night. We in the in the right away is when it was good. Like we caught a lot of dry flies right away. Uh, Kirk is coming to the rescue. <laughs> right on. <laughs> We're saved. You don't need a ride, do you? What's up, Kirk? <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> All right. Fred. Can see you kind of now. Yeah. We got our truck back. Thankfully, we had cell phone coverage and we called a friend and the network worked Phone a out. friend. <laughs> Instant shuttle. Got the Fly Fish Food first podcast on for the ride home. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, it was a fun night. Um, well, first, Fred, what updates do we have for Fly Project that we can share with everybody? What updates? Well, we're just, you know, constantly working on... Um, fly patterns, but I guess the big updates are where we got hooks coming. Yeah, we're working on a new, uh, working with a new sort of, if you've watched this far into it, <laughs> we have a new hook company that we are uh, going to bring to market uh, that we're kind of excited about right now. Um, it's all uh, Japanese made, super high end hooks. Oh, well, you're not safe. I am. Oh, I got my seatbelt on. Oh. I don't know what that is. Uh, anyways, we haven't made it out of the boat landing yet. Something's going wrong. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways, we got Japanese hooks coming. We did uh, add two new flies to the website today, and that is firm white meat. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Which you know, read the description. Get your mind out of the gutter. It is not what you're thinking. It is. Uh, we were talking about the difference between halibut and catfish fillets, right? Yep. Frying fish, and then. We also added the other color, the yellow color of the flash and grab because we've had a bunch of custom orders for that. So we added the yellow color. It's now available on the site. We'll put both links to those. We'll put both links to both of those flies up. Um, so you guys can check it out there. They'll be in the comments section. Um, but the firm white meat is like a big gaudy articulated streamer for, you know, pike, bull trout, aggressive brown trout, and then the flash and grab has honestly become one of our like go-to main streamers that we fish all the time. So, um, what else? We've been working what on? else? Well, um, we've been working on tippet. Yep, we were we, fishing it tonight, and it, it worked good. We we stuck a rock with the five X and actually bent the hook out. Yeah. So that's and that brown that you had on was on five X, and he got in the weeds, and we got him out. Yeah. So we're, we're actually pretty happy with that. It's not the most scientific testing, but it is like real world. If you go fishing and it doesn't break, it works. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay. But uh, anyways, yeah, we were, we will be, uh, we'll be working on some more videos in the near future uh, with uh, Fred and Calvin, Paul, Austin, and the rest of the crew. Um, so thanks very much for watching. If you guys could subscribe to our channel, we would really appreciate it as we're just getting started. And um, you can check us out at flyproject.us and on Instagram, we're flyprojectusa. So uh, we will have another video out soon. Peace.